Hi everyone, it's Pam. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to show you a little experiment that I did. The other day, I think it was Thursday, I was taking a walk around the yard and uh, we have a big hydrangea bush. And I wanted to, to um, I got this brainstorm to collect some of the blossoms. Now normally I wait till the fall when they're dry and I collect them all, but I wanted to, to see if I could capture the colors that are in them when they're still fresh. So I'm out there with a bag. I'm pulling off the blossoms. And I look over and I've got this giant uh, tiger lily patch. And they're, they're like a dark maroon color. They're beautiful with like a gold in the middle of them. And I saw some of them had, the blossoms had, you know, withered. And there's a lot more to pop out. So I'm like, oh, let me, while I'm standing here, I'll just pull these dead ones off. Well, big mistake. Warning. If you go to pull off a mushy kind of blossom, make sure you got gloves on. Because what happened to me is I had to come in and scrub my hands with Comet. That's the only thing that took the stain off my hands was Comet. So nevertheless, I went back outside with gloves on because I got a brainstorm of, well, if there's that, that much color on your hands, why couldn't I use that on paper? So I had a second bag that I gathered up all the blossoms that are withered and brought them in. And I took a, a plastic tablecloth and I laid out paper, spritzed it with water, laid down the blossoms, kind of tore them apart a little bit, spread them out a little bit, put another piece of paper on top, spritzed that all down with water, and then I didn't have a hammer, which I have to go downstairs to steal one of my husband's. But anyways, I used this, and I just pounded it all down, okay? Totally let it dry before you touch it, okay? Because even today, <clears throat> taking the dry pieces off, I still got some under my fingernails, so I'm going to have to comatize them again. <laughs> but I wanted to show you some, some of the patterns that I got out of these. Now, the first couple pieces, they get like, mm, they look like, yeah, well, whatever. But if you'll notice, this little piece here, that was like a yellow strip inside, like a golden strip inside the flower. I thought it was really cool. But what I'm going to do is give these papers a, um, probably a blue, a light, you know, like a blue food coloring wash over them. And I will bring them back to show you what they'll look like when they're done. Here's another one. Uh, I didn't take a whole lot of it, but um, I, I like this little thing here. And look at this. Now, for some people, they probably won't see it, but I see a bird. And then there was this one. So the colors are like an indigo and green and teal. And the plant is maroon and gold. So I'm not sure why this came out the color it did, but I really like it. Now we're getting to the fun ones here. You can see this is almost a violet. Lavender, teal, gold in the middle. Look at this little bird right up here. I can bring him up close. See his little feet down there? His little tail. Yep. There's some really cool pictures in this. This looks like a dragonfly right here. <laughs> that one. And this one, this is this has a lot of colors in it. There's violet and blue and green and teal and gold and kind of a pale green. <coughs> Excuse me, just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a coughing spell there. So this one almost looks like a big tree with... Um, bushy leaves on it. This one I haven't quite looked at it enough, but 
I'll uh, come up with something off of that one. And we have this one. This it really fascinated me. You think about you know hundreds and thousands of years ago to color your fabric. This is what they used was plants. They didn't have you couldn't go to the store and get rid dye. Okay, and uh, just fascinating to me in nature. How there's different look. I mean, look at that. That is so cool. Really like that one. There's my little bird in flight. Cool. There's this one. Now this one. Look at the greens. And there's no green in this flower. I'm telling you. <laughs> some yellow from the center. Another little bird with a big old orange bill. Another bird in flight. So cool. And the last one. What do we see? Let's see. Do we see anything? I see a little bit of a face here. You can see the eye. Little nose down here. Pretty cool. So like I said, I'm going to give these a, a, a food coloring wash over them just to fill in the white background. And I'll come back when they're dry and show you those. So I just wanted to show you, you know, if you have flowers, when they start fiddling out, you know, and, and new ones are, you always have to pick your flowers so that new ones will bloom. And, um, you know, just try to do something like this. It's a lot of fun and uh, a little messy, but just remember, always wear gloves so you don't have to go through what I went through. So, anyways, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And until we meet again, I'll see you all later. God bless you. Bye-bye.